Workshops are a big part of the Art We There Yet project. Whether it's a songwriting workshop, leading students through the entire process of writing and recording a song, or a painting workshop, simply providing kids with the space and time to process their world through color, shape, and form, the workshops, they're an important part of what we do. We were in El Pescadero, Mexico, completing an exciting community mural with a whole amazing cast of characters. When we're working on a mural, it's pedal to the metal, and there's very little free time. But after the Pescadero mural was done, we had some time to do a songwriting workshop for kids in town. Today is a really exciting day because we are going to do a songwriting workshop with students here in El Pescadero. Uh, this is actually going to be my first songwriting workshop conducted completely in Espanol. So we'll see how I do. Um, the students didn't have a way to get to the place we were doing the workshop, so I had to come and get them in the car. So I'm gonna go get them, and uh, we'll go off and do our songwriting workshop. Super excited. Bueno, aquí estamos en el carro. Vamos, Doña. Vamos para Doña Maggie. Así se dice, ¿verdad? Vamos, Doña. No. Vamos donde Doña Maggie para hacer nuestro taller de escribir música. Hola, hola, hola. Está bien, está bien. ¿Cómo están? Bien, bien, gracias. Qué bueno. Qué alegre que están aquí. Mientras vamos a escribir afuera, entonces cuando estamos afuera no necesitamos mascarilla, okay. pero ahí adentro del bus sí. The kids and I settled right into writing our song. And as with almost every single group I've ever worked with, the kids were a little shy at first. I mean, who wouldn't be? Here's a teacher they haven't met before talking about how they're going to write a song in just a few hours. To say that I have to build up trust fast is an understatement. But this group was really wonderful. They took to the process with curiosity and with maturity and mutual respect that was really beautiful to see. We started our song, as most of my workshops do, talking about cake. I tell students to imagine a song is a three-layer cake. Chords, melody, and lyrics. And the thing is, a song can be written in many different ways. Maybe lyrics first, then melody, then chords, or maybe the opposite, chords, then melody, then lyrics. The most important thing is to understand that there isn't one right way. It's different for each person. So what you have to do is find what works for you and not be afraid to experiment and try things in a different way. So with that, our group started in on our own song cake, chords first. I gave students four chords to choose from. Each student chose a chord, completely at random, and then we strung them all together in a chord progression. This exercise has two major takeaways. First, writing a chord progression does not need to be an intimidating thing. It can be as easy as throwing some chords together at random and seeing how it sounds. The other takeaway is that students don't need to be virtuoso musicians with years of training to use songwriting as a tool for self-expression. With four simple chords, one can create a world of beautiful music. Then we moved on to lyrics. But this part requires a little digression. The summer before, Jose Luis and I were in Colorado with my family in the height of lockdown. We parked our big, beautiful bus in their driveway, and one day a stranger from the neighborhood stopped by with a bag of beautiful handmade journals. I looked you guys up and love what you're doing, she said. Please take these and gift them to kids along the way. And then she left as quickly as she came. We still don't even know her name. So I gave each student one of these journals, and for the next half an hour, their only job was to create something in it. A poem, a drawing, a reflection. To observe the world around them or just to look inward. To just take in a calm moment with their own thoughts. And then we came back together to write. 
With their heads primed to be in a creative space, I played the students' chord progressions and asked them to write down any thoughts, emotions, or images that the music made them feel. From these words, we wrote a four-line poem, our verse one. I love the moment in a workshop when the energy shifts. When you can see the kids starting to feel more comfortable, more safe, more belonging. You begin to see them thinking of their group as a team and they start to feel that excitement, pride, and ownership in their song. As we began adding melody to verse one, the ice thawed more and more. More smiles, more trust. We worked our way through, writing a few lines of poetry, adding melody, writing another few lines of poetry. By the end, the transformation was complete. That shy group from the morning was now a knit together team, ready and excited to record their song. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, send us a comment below, and for exclusive content and a behind the scenes view of the Art We There Yet journey, join us on Patreon. See you over on Patreon.